everyone, welcome to our second online art class. First of all, I just want to shout out students who did the Found Object Color Wheel project. This is a reminder if you have not turned in that class, please make sure you do as soon as possible as this directly affects your grade for the class. Just a little bit of a some visual examples of students who did complete the work. If you are still having some issues, you can use these as some examples, some really creative and fun work. Um, I love the use of Monopoly money, um, the markers, the hair accessories. Like I said, anything could have been used as long as it had color. And um, like I said, just be creative and fun. So looking at what we're going to be doing for this week, for your second assignment this week, you guys are going to be doing a textured hand drawing. Now, first of all, what is texture? Remember, texture is an element of art. And texture is the way something feels to the touch or it looks to the eye. Obviously, texture is incredibly important in visual arts. So when we think about how artists show different textures, um, obviously, when you are creating textures, you are using line and value and tone to be creating it. So materials that we're going to need for this project include the following. You're going to need a sheet of paper. It can be a blank white paper or it can be lined paper. I don't really mind. Um, then you need one of the following drawing tools. You do not need all of them. You just need one. So you need a pencil, you can use a pen, it can be any color pen, you can use a Sharpie, or you can use color pencils. Pretty much whatever you have at home, you can use. And the last thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need your laptops to be researching different textures. So quick little disclaimer, if for whatever reason you do not have any of the art materials at home, as in you do not own a pen or a pencil, and you cannot get your hands on any form of paper, please private message me on Teams or email me at leanne.freisinger at scienceandtech.org and we'll make a plan for you to do an alternative task. You still have to do an assignment. So let's get started. So our first step is that you're going to trace the outline of your hand. Now, I was working with pencil as this was an item that most of you guys said you had at home from the survey that we did. Uh, my suggestion would be to take off all jewelry first to do an outline of your hand. And if you are working in pencil, try work quite light when you're outlining your hands because you're going to be adding texture on top of it. Step two, start adding texture to your first finger. Now, what I had did beforehand was that I had looked up some different examples on my laptop um, just through Google of textures. So. Pretty much, we I know that we've all been washing our hands a whole lot because of COVID-19 and wanting to keep those germs away. Um, so I know my hands have been feeling like really, really rough and dry. So I my first one was like almost as if like I had a bunch of nails or pins being shoved into my little baby finger. That's what you can see I'm drawing. Then I'm going on to my next finger and I'm adding a different texture. So each finger needs to have a different texture to it. So again, kind of working with that very rough feel. I did some bricks. And I've kept adding different textures to each finger. So my middle finger, um, I did like kind of dragon scales or fish scales, like my hands are feeling really scaly, like I said, from having to wash them a thousand times a day for 20 seconds each time. They're feeling really, really dry. And then for my last finger, I did like almost like a kind of a hairy texture to it. And then the last bit is that you're going to add the texture to your thumb. So. I decided to be a little bit kind of uh, creepy and slimy. I kind of like as if it was slime or uh, soap dripping off it, but something kind of gross. Um, you don't have to. This is just what I felt like drawing. Last thing is add some finer details. Make it look good. 
So you can see I've kind of gone back, I've added some more tones and shading. I um, added some tones like around the hand, you can see over here. Um, I went back in and added some tones on the scales. I added, to kind of make the different textures merge into one another just to kind of make it look more effective as well. Just cause I, that's something I enjoy doing is to kind of make things look fun and exciting. Now that you've finished your hand, take a photograph of it and you are going to be uploading it onto your Google Classroom. So I had a couple people who were having some issues doing this. Um, if for whatever reason you are having some problems uploading to Google Classroom, uh, it really isn't hard. Like I said, you just go to, you click to turn in and you add and create and you are adding a file. Uh, if you would like to be adding your final drawing onto the slide deck and resubmit the whole slide deck, that's absolutely fine. Some people did that with the color wheel. That's not a problem at all. Big thing is do not submit an empty slide deck. I had a couple people who resubmitted the slides, but without their own color wheel in and you just got sent right back with a comment saying you didn't submit your work. Uh, the other thing that you can be doing is that you can send me a picture on Teams. Um, or you can be emailing it, but just make sure that I am replying saying that I've noted that you have done that. The best case scenario is that you are handing it in um, through Google Classroom because then I am right away knowing who's handed in what. So best practice, use Google Classroom. If you've got really crazy circumstances that Google Classroom isn't working, reach out to me first. So just to review our criteria for success. Number one is to work as neatly as possible. Do not rush, take your time. Number two, each finger and thumb must be a different texture. Don't reuse the same texture each time. Number three, be original. Don't just copy my example. So, I mean, there's absolutely zero point in you just replicating my work. Look at the internet for examples of texture. Number four, Finished work must be uploaded to Google Classroom by Friday at 10 a.m. And number five, ask three before me, meaning reach out to your classmates before you're reaching out to me. And last thing is to try your best. You know, really use this time, be creative. Again, this is meant to just be um, something that you guys can be really flexing those creative muscles and just be showing me how some awesome work. I can't wait to be seeing uh, what work you show me. Like I said, if you have got any questions, ask three before me, then reach out. All the best and I will see you guys in class on Thursday. This assignment is due on Friday.